The pop-up menu button is helpful if you want to add some features to your app. However, you don't want to have it here within your design. You simply want to have it at a different place. And then you have here this menu where you can add other functionalities and settings. We will also look at how we can later create some advanced pop-up menu buttons. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started by adding to our app bar this pop-up menu button. Therefore, you simply go to your scaffold to your app bar and here you add an actions and within it you can then set the pop-up menu button and here you can then set the item of this button. So in this case, we want to put strings inside. We want to build here three items if we click on this button, settings, share and logout. Therefore, I've created a new file, which is called text menu. And here we have basically all these three settings inside. So we have settings, share and logout as fields. And then we simply put all of these fields inside of this items list and then you can simply put it here inside. And like you can see, every item has here a type of string and this is important because here we also have the string inside. And therefore each menu item can only be a string. Now that we have created these three texts in a different file, we also want to have this on selected. So if we tap on one item, then we want to add some functionality. Therefore, we simply call here this unselected property and then we get here the value, which is the item on which we have clicked. And this will then return simply here one of these texts. So for example, this settings text, the share text or this logout text. And now we simply switch here over our value and go over all of these values. So we simply check here if it is of the text of settings or if it is of the text of share or logout. And we start here with the settings text and then we want to simply do here the functionality. And in my case, I will show simply a snack bar and I put here inside the text selected settings. And we also do the same thing for the other menu items. So here we have first of all the share and then we simply tell here selected share in our snack bar. And we also have logout and here we simply tell that we have selected the logout menu item. So all in all, we add here the functionality of what should happen if we click on one item. And now we also want to build each individual item and therefore you have this item builder. And here we can then go over all of our menu items. Therefore we have created here this list with all of our items, which we want to display right now within our UI. And therefore we simply map here over all of these items and then we transform these strings, which we get to a pop-up menu item. And here inside you also put the same type inside like here before. So we need to put here the string inside. And then you need to add here two properties. First of all, the value. And here we simply put here our item string inside. And then we also add here this menu widget, how this menu should look like. And in our case, it is a simple text. And then you simply put here this item inside, which is of the type of string. And now we have created our first example. So we can click here. And if I click on one of these items, then this is executed here. And in this case, we selected, for example, the settings. And this means that this case is here executed because the value on which we clicked here is the, with the name of settings. And then he will simply show here the snack bar of settings. And here you will later put your individual functionality inside what should happen if you click on this button settings. And each item which we have created here is basically this pop-up menu item. And we simply return here text. So we simply have here, for example, the settings text or the share text and so on. Now we want to become more advanced. So we want to add a text and also an icon in front. And we also want to make this pop-up menu rounded. For adding the advanced pop-up, I simply copy the current pop-up menu button and I put it inside of a new file within this app bar and within the actions. This time the main difference is that we don't have a string for our menu item. Instead we have an object which then holds an icon and also a string. And therefore I have created here a new model object icon menu and this has two properties. First of all a text and also 
an icon. And now we can simply copy this icon menu name and put here instead of the string every time this icon menu object inside. So we do it here at two locations. I also have created here this icons menu class and here we basically have all these items inside which we want to have in our menu. And this time we create here not a single string, we create here an object and this holds then our text and also the icon which I have selected here. And we do this here for three cases for the favorite bookmark and also share. And then we simply put it again inside of our items list which is this time of the type of icon menu. So we have here our object instead of the string. And now we can simply copy this and go again to our icons pop-up page. And this time we simply select here the items of our icons menu. And now this item here is of the type of icon menu and not string anymore. And therefore we simply need to add here this item.text for our text field. Within our on selected, we switch here over our value, which is of the type of icon menu. And this here before was of the type of string. So we also need to replace it to our new types. And therefore we simply take here these icons menu types, for example, favorite, bookmark and share instead. So I simply replace these items. So I put here this icons menu inside and then we put the different icons of our menu inside. And obviously we also need to change here the text. So here we have favorite, bookmark and share. If we now click here on our advanced menu, it looks exactly the same because we also have here text inside. However, this time we have here an icon menu and now we can also put here this icon next to it inside. To add here this icon next to our text, we simply go here to our text within our item builder and we wrap it around with the list tile and put it the text within our title property and then we also can set the leading property which means that we can add here an icon in front of the text and here we simply call the icon and then we access here our item.icon so we simply access here this icon from our icons menu object. And now you see that we have here the text and also an icon and what we also can do is we can change here the color of our icons and then it will look like this. If you don't like to have here that much space, you can also set here to the list tile this content padding to zero and then you have here less padding around. So this will look like this right now. So we have here less padding. And now if we click on these different items, you see that it is also working fine and we can basically select all of them. And you can again put here your functionality inside what should happen if you click on one of these items. Lastly, I want to show you how you can make this menu also rounded. Therefore, you can add here within the pop-up menu button this shape property and here you can basically set a rounded shape by calling a rounded rectangle border and here inside you can set the border radius to circular and then you can set here value inside. The higher the value is, the more rounded our menu will be. And in this case, you see that we have here a little bit roundness for our menu. If you want to get this whole source code of this application, you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!